Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are diving into a fascinating uh, array problem count pairs those sum is less than target. Trust me, this one is more intriguing than it sounds, so let's roll. Uh, Alright, so uh, here is the essence. We have an array of integer and a target value and we need to figure out how many pairs of number in this array have a sum less than or uh, of our target. And simply uh, premise, but uh, there is a beauty in detail. So the naive approach would be to check every possible pair uh, which could give us time complexity of O n uh, square, but we can do better. So even uh, heard of the two-pointer technique. So let's dive into this particular technique. So the idea is to sort our array first, and then we will have two pointers. Uh, one starting at the beginning and the order at the end. And if the sum of the number at uh, this pointer is less than our target, we have a gold mine of valid pairs. Uh, but uh, we will sort out uh, our array first and next uh, initialize our true pointer and count for valid pairs. So our loop will run until our left pointer is less than the right one. So uh, let's implement it. So num sort and then left right will be zero and len num minus one and count will be zero. And while left less than right, uh, if num left plus num right, less than target, count plus right minus left. And left will be plus one, and else right minus one, and return count. So this is uh, implementation. Let's run it for these test cases. So hopefully it will pass. Yep, all good. And uh, what we did now, if the sum of our two pointer is less than the target, all pairs starting from the left pointer up to the right pointer are just valid. So uh, think uh, about it. We have got a sorted array. So all number between this pointer will also produce a uh, sum less uh, than our uh, target. So we need, don't need to uh, compare it. We can just uh, output uh, the correct count, right minus left. Uh, and yeah, and that's it. And our solution with the power of sorting and two pointer technique uh, probably efficiently tackle this challenge. Let's see, uh, submit it for unsynthesized cases for verification and our implementation uh, beat 56% uh, with respect to uh, runtime. Yeah, 56 milliseconds and 100% uh, uh, yeah, with respect to runtime and also 66% with respect to memory. So all good, uh, it's concise and efficient. And uh, yeah, such challenge remind us uh, that sometimes simple technique combined smartly can work uh, wonders. And while we crack this in Python today, I got you covered uh, in other programming languages uh, such as Go, Rust, and much more. And if you found this insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and got a better approach or a challenge uh, you would like me to tackle next, uh, drop uh, in the comment section below. And if uh, you are new here uh, to join our coding uh, adventure, uh, hit the subscribe button and until next time, uh, keep practicing, happy coding and see you next time.